One last note about this particular lab that I suspect is causing some of you some anxieties and consternation. The fact that the first time you do this experiment and you run all the analysis through and you get a focal length for your glasses, odds are your first result is going to be, well, frankly, crap. And way off, maybe even a power of 10 off from what you know the prescription to actually be. And that's okay. It's, it's maybe different from some of your prior lab experiences. We're not grading you on your answer. We're not grading you on if the answer is correct. We intentionally gave you a procedure with a lot of little decisions to make. And we wanted you to think about those little decisions, you know, like the number of trials to do and the number of distances to do, stuff like that. And, you know, run the experiment and, and see what happens. And you're seeing how science actually works. The first time you do any experiment, you know, in a real lab, the result is almost always terrible. It never works the first time. So what we want you to do is authentically scientific thinking. You know, take your result, look at it, think about what might have gone wrong, what you might have done better, and repeat the experiment and, and try again. You know, you've got it a little bit easier than in real research because you actually know what the right answer is in this case. Whereas in many real research, you don't know the right answer, but the thought process you can see is the same, okay? So don't, under any circumstances, change your data in that first round, okay? <laughs> Damn it! Uh, stupid sneeze. One last thing about this lab that I think is maybe causing some of you some consternation or anxiety. You may have done the first lab, you know, all the way through and got an answer that's completely wrong from what your prescription is. Maybe even a power of 10 off from what the correct prescription is. Maybe the sign is even different. And what I want to emphasize is that is okay. We are not grading you on your ability to get the right answer here. Now, we are grading you on your process. So, you know, go and make sure that your signs for the image distance are correct and all of that sort of stuff and that you did the analysis correctly through. But we're not grading you on the answer. We actually intentionally gave you a procedure that is a little vague, a little open-ended, and there were a lot of little decisions for you to make on the procedure and, and how to do it. And that was on purpose. And furthermore, this procedure is actually pretty hard to get the right answer. It took me three tries to get the data that's used in the, um, you know, all the examples and all the tutorials, which is pretty close. It took me about three tries to get that to work. So don't worry about it. And this is actually a huge part of what science is really all about. When you do a real experiment in a real lab, the first time through, the result is almost uniformly terrible. I, I can't think of a single moment in my scientific career where my first try at something yielded a useful result. It's almost always just garbage, okay? But then you look at the garbage and you think about what you did and you think about the process and you say, okay, what could I have done better? How can I change this? And then you analyze that and you make those changes and hopefully you do a better job, all right? And that's part of what we want you to do in this lab is that very authentic scientific thinking. And we've made it actually a little bit easier for you because you know what the right answer is. You have the prescription, whereas in real science, you, you usually don't know what the right answer is, right? If you knew the right answer, it wouldn't be called research. But still the thought process is the same where you're looking at your results. You're saying, okay, this is completely terrible. Let me revisit some of those tons of small decisions that I made and, and think about what maybe I could have done better, all right? So 
if you get a wrong answer, don't massage, don't change your data. You're not being graded on the right answer. And frankly, that is terrible scientific ethics. You should never do that, not just for this class, but ever. You should never change your data. That violates the fundamental ethical principles that science is built on. Take your data, own it, and then there's a question where you're asked to think about it, okay? So that's what we want you to do. And if you need help maybe thinking about what maybe you did or how you might approve, you know, what changes you might make, feel free to reach out to myself or one of the TAs and we'll happy to help you, okay? So own your data and think about what you might do differently. And good luck and see how it goes.